The future of farming is here. And it has automatic tractors and a lot more. Yes, move over, Tesla. There's a new autonomous vehicle in town. Could these advancements in agricultural technology be the answer to our world's changing needs? Or could they lead to a bigger crisis on our hands? In this video, we'll be looking at these new tractors and all the features they promise. Starting off with an exciting prospect from John Deere Corporation. John Deere has always been at the forefront of revolutionizing agricultural machinery. It's not only changed the game, but has also changed the entire playing field to set new goals for its competitors. And in recent years, it has shifted its attention entirely towards supporting a sustainable lifestyle and having an environmentally friendly mindset. In 2017, it plans to reduce its carbon emissions by 15% and has achieved that goal this year. And at this year's CES press conference, John Deere revealed its designs for the first fully autonomous tractor known to man. How does this link to its sustainability motive? Well, the tractor was made to serve a specific purpose, and that's feeding the growing population of this world. The world's population is expected to grow from 8 billion to 10 billion by 2050, so global food demand will increase by 50%. This places a heavy load on farmers to increase their productivity while meeting all kinds of hurdles along the way. With the earth already feeling the effects of climate change, farmers have to adapt to changing weather and soil conditions, unprecedented pest attacks, and less land. So the company has taken these factors in mind to manufacture a tractor tackling all of their needs. This machine is a combination of Deere's 8R tractor and TrueSet enabled plow. Along with that, it also has a GPS guidance system and an enhanced detection system that can guide it along any field it has been placed in. Moving on to a full description of what this tractor promises. John Deere Corporation has already posted a detailed layout of this new tractor on its website. Farmers would only need to transport the tractor to the field it's going to work on. And, well, the rest it can take care of itself. This tractor will have 12 stereo cameras attached to it that would allow it to get a 360 view of the entire field and also detect any obstacles along its path. The images that these cameras capture will be used by the tractor to estimate whether it can move, and all of this will be completed within 100 milliseconds. And don't worry, the tractor will constantly check its position using a geofence. All the farmers have to do is operate the tractor using the John Deere Operation Center mobile. With a simple swipe of their finger from left to right, they can start the machine. The farmers can leave the tractor with their work and do other tasks in the meantime. Or they can use the John Deere Operation Center mobile to check on the images, live video, data, and other states that the system has calculated about their fields. Using that data, they can adjust the speed and accuracy of the tractor. The company would also help farmers in increasing the performance levels of their tractors and fix any issues with the machine's health. When can we see this bad boy on the market? Well, John Deere has already displayed the first model at its CES booth in January. Let's see what some farmers think about this new machine. While the tractor still hasn't hit the market, it's already drawing some buzz in the farming community. Doug Minns, a farmer from Minnesota, got to use the prototype on his corn and soybean farm. That's about 2000 acres big. He claimed that the whole thing was life-changing, as it could do things way better than he could. Doug also believed that even though farmers prefer to stick to traditional methods once they try them out, they won't be able to resist it. To get an idea of what other farmers thought, Iowa Public Radio interviewed a bunch of farmers all across America. Dave Busby, a farmer from central Missouri who raises livestock and grows vegetables on his farm, shared the resistance that Minns talked about. He thought using that tractor will never be 
real farming, since it didn't involve working with your own hands. Chris Auden, on the other hand, welcomed such new technology on his farm that he was hoping to pass it down to his son. He stated that as long as there isn't a giant corporation running the autonomous tractors, then he'd be more than willing to try it out. A farmer's direct involvement on his farm was very crucial to him, along with other farmers as well. But considering how this automatic vehicle would increase efficiency and help cut down the cost of pesticides, fuel, and fertilizers, many farmers were excited to try it out. Well, all that's left now is to see whether John Deere will be the one to produce it first. Moving on to the Tractors of the Year. The International Tractor of the Year Awards were presented at a ceremony with EIMA International 2021. And this year, we once again saw John Deere, New Holland, and Reform dominate the results. 14 tractors were nominated for four different categories, and winners were decided by a panel of different agricultural journalists around the world. The awards were presented by the CEO of BKT Europe, Lucia Samazo. He expressed the honor BKT held for supporting these awards for the second year. The president of Tractor of the Year, Fabio Zamoretti, also delivered a speech at the award ceremony. He stated that each year, the performance level of the nominees keeps increasing. He also mentioned how sustainability is a key focus during the selection period and sets the winning tractors apart from the others. Following up with the winner of the Tractor of the Year Award. The biggest award out of the four categories was given to John Deere's 7R350 Auto Power. What made this the winning tractor? Well, it ticked off all the important boxes like the comfort of the farmer, the efficiency of its work, and its efforts to promote sustainability. The jury gave a special mention to its automation package, the onboard technology, and the fuel guarantee program. They mentioned how its active command steering allowed the farmer to adjust the performance according to the different needs and requirements of the field. It also increased their efficiency as it cut down the time needed in installing and uninstalling 1,700 kilograms of ballast weight. With this machine, farmers no longer have to adjust the tractor according to the different tasks, so no wonder it won the highest award. Moving on to the next category, the best utility tractor. This one also went to another of John Deere's products. 6120M Auto Power took the award for showing its versatility. From soil cultivation to front loader work and transport, this tractor can perform a wide variety of tasks. This is all thanks to a continuously variable transmission, CVT on the tractor and its short wheelbase of 2400 millimeters that allows the farmer to move it around easily across the field. It also uses advanced technology such as precision farming and boasts a maximum operating weight of 10,450 kilograms. With these features, this tractor won the award for showing the maximum amount of usefulness. Following up with the award for the best specialized tractor in this category, the Austria-based company Reform Verka won with its Reform H75 Pro. Its performance in special circumstances helped it win this award. Reform Verka itself announced their tractor was chosen because of its versatility and balance on slopes. The jury believed it provided the workers with maximum comfort and safety. What the H75 Pro has is a low center of gravity, hydrostatic transmission, and the ability to manage two implements at a time. These qualities made it perfect to work on buffer zones and marginal lands. After all, special conditions require a special machine, and that's where the H75 Pro comes in. Finally, let's see which machine won in the best sustainable toy category. This award was highly expected. It was given to the machine that the jury believed played a positive role in environmental impact. This was awarded to the New Holland methane-powered tractor, which is something New Holland has been working on since 2019. The company claims 
notes that the carbon monoxide emissions from this tractor have been 80% lower than the amount allowed under the EU Stage 5 regulations. Apart from that, its running costs are also reduced to 30% as compared to the tractors powered by diesel. The tractor runs with the help of FPT, six cylinders CNG powered engine. This not only reduces carbon emissions, but it runs with the same efficiency as a diesel powered engine. And the best is that it uses a renewable source that can be found on the farm itself. So the farmers would not just produce food, but fuel for these machines as well. Sounds like a pretty great option to us. What do you think? That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of John Deere's latest inventions? Let us know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.